Hi, my name is Christian, and today I want to give you five tips to present on Zoom like a pro. First, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a Zoom meeting where everybody was sort of confused, didn't know what to do, and distracted? Just like a meeting like this. These people don't really know where to look, this person doesn't have their camera on, and this person isn't even there. Well, I've been in meetings like that, and it's not a really great way to communicate. There's not much engagement, and as a presenter, it's hard to connect. So that's why I want to give you five tips on how to present on Zoom like a pro. Tip number one, setting the stage. I want to give you some tips on how to set the stage to make for a better Zoom presentation. This is actually a picture of my actual setup. I'm sitting right here in this chair. First of all, use a um, headset with a microphone or a standalone microphone. That way, your audience can hear you better and you can convey your message much clearer and be well understood. Second, lighting. Make sure that you have good lights around you. So I have these lights overhead, which I bought from Costco. And I also have a light on my desk right here and also right uh, a light in front of me. This way, I'm well lit and the audience will be able to see my facial expressions better and get a better connection. I also have a second monitor set up over here in addition to my laptop, and I'll get into that in a moment. And finally, I have a green screen. So what my actual background looks like is this. But let me just tell you a bit more about my green screen. The green screen that I'm using is this portable green screen, which I got off Amazon for $150. And what's really nice about this is that I can collapse the green screen like this within just a couple of seconds. Then I can lock it up and bring it with me. So it's really portable and it's really handy. So you can bring it anywhere you want. With a good setup, you'll be better prepared to make really great immersive Zoom presentations. Now let me talk about tip number two. Tip number two is about using virtual backgrounds for slides. So if you go to your video settings, you'll see this menu item, virtual backgrounds. And using virtual backgrounds, you can change the background behind you. Now remember, I have a green screen, so I check this box. And using the green screen, it's, you actually get a better result because you get fewer artifacts. Now, most people use the green screen or the virtual background feature just to change their scenery, to put some, or to put some artwork or some other um, environments. Now, what if you could actually use the green screen and virtual background feature for actual content? Well, that's what I've been doing throughout this whole presentation. And it really immerses you as a presenter into your content. Ultimately, your presentation should be about you and your content. And all this technology just helps enhance it. So using virtual backgrounds is really helpful. So all you have to do is just click this plus button and then add your images like these, your content, as virtual backgrounds. Let me talk about tip number three, maintaining eye contact. In a Zoom call, it's challenging to maintain eye contact because even though you might see the other parties, if you look at their picture, you might be actually looking off the screen like what I'm doing right now. The key thing is to actually look at the screen dot right here, um, which I have on my computer, and look directly into the camera. That way, you're engaging with your audience and it can be a much more intimate, engaging, experience. Related to that, I have tip number four, knowing your audience. So in my setup, I have a laptop right here, but I also have a second monitor back here so I can look at the audience and glance to see their reactions to my presentation. Are they confused or do they agree? And it helps me read the audience just like in a real presentation so that they can give me cues on how to proceed and deal with my presentation. 
I also have a little nest cam over here so that I can check on groceries and packages being delivered. So that's another tip. Finally, finally, let me talk about tip number five, structuring your content. A good presentation, whether it's on Zoom or elsewhere, should have a great opening, body, and conclusion. With all this technology, you still have to remember that you need to have great content. So just like in a normal speech, in this Zoom example, I had an opening, which was the picture of a confused Zoom call. I have a body, which are the five tips that I have just shown you, and I have a conclusion, which sums everything up and has some calls to action, and I will get to that in a moment. So in summary, if you follow these tips, you should be able to present much better on Zoom. Um, remember that the presentation is about you and your content, and that all this technology is, is here to help you enhance your content and your message. So if you want to follow more tips, please follow me on social media. You can find me at Christian Vijaya, and this handle works on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's kind of the benefit of having a unique name. So have a great day and please like my video and follow me and I hope to see you next time.